Hello and welcome boys and girls to episode one of flute. So here we go. So once you get your flute case, this is what it looks like. Okay. You will have to uh, assemble the instrument, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Re please remember when you open or close your case, make sure you do it on the floor. I'm only doing this on a surface right now because I'm filming and I have to show you what to do. So um, put it on a flat surface, preferably the floor, because if anything were to fall, it would not fall very far and therefore it would either do no damage to your flute or um, it would do very little damage to your flute if it does fall. Okay, so here we go. Once you get your flute, you will see these latches right here. Okay. There are different types depending on which case you get. For this particular case, what we do is we take the um, tabs, we flip it up right here, okay? Now it is very important that you have these tabs flip up because if it flips, um, if you have it flipped down, when I open the case, you will see things will fall out, okay? So I'm gonna put it right side up. So here we go. When I open the case, there you go. You see your flute stays right in there, nice and safe. If I had my flute case upside down and I open it, oh, look, everything just kind of fell out. They're not where they're supposed to be anymore. So let's put them back to where they go. So it's kind of like a puzzle in a way. I just got to figure out where it goes. Matches the shape. And there we go. All right, so if you open your case correctly, it's supposed to look like this, okay? Now, some of you will have cases with little, tiny little buttons on them, okay? And you might see little locks on them, but don't worry, we never lock our case, so you don't need a key. If you do see little buttons on them, what you do is you take your thumb, you hang on to the little buttons, and you pull sideways, okay? So if you take the little buttons and you pull sideways, then your case will open up like that. And it's the same idea to close them. To close them, you just press hard and you'll hear a little click and then they will close and they will lock, okay? But for this particular case of mine, it's got these little latches, okay? So here we go. Once you open your case, you see three pieces right here. This is called the foot joint. Think of it like your foot, okay, foot joint. The big piece, the long piece is called the middle joint. And this part where eventually you will blow into is called the mouthpiece, okay, or the head joint, I'm sorry. It's called the head joint, okay. So here is how we assemble. Oh, and by the way, right here, this is the cleaning rod. We'll talk about that in the future episode, okay? Um, some of you might have one in here and some of you might not. If you don't, please let me know. We'll see if we can try to get you a, a replacement one, okay? All right, so here we go. You always start the assembly from the foot joint. Notice there are a bunch of these little keys all over, okay? They are very fragile. Fragile means easily broken. So please make sure you hold it where there are no keys. See, right here, this spot right here, there are no keys. I can hold it and I don't have to be afraid that I would break or bend anything. If you were to grab here, there is a chance you might break or bend one of these keys. So I grab the foot joint and now I grab the, do you remember what it's called? Very good, it's called the middle joint. So here we go, I grab the middle joint and I put them together. Now, very, very gently, okay? It has, to, you have to make sure they're perfectly straight. So you cannot do this. Look at this, see, that's not straight. If you try to push it in, you will um, bend or break this rim right here, okay? So you have to make sure it's perfectly straight all around, look. See, it's straight, it's straight. If I do this, watch. Oh, that looks kind of straight, but Oh, it's not straight at this angle. So straight and my other hand, remember, 
I'm grabbing this spot where there are no keys. So we're going to do what I called a twist and push. So we're going to twist and push in at the same time. So twist and push, twist and push. There you go. All right. Now you'll notice these long rods all along the flute. I call them the spine. So think of it like the spine on your back. Okay. Now the spines are not supposed to line up. They're not supposed to. The spine on the foot joint, it's supposed to meet up in the middle, the middle of the button of the middle joint right here. So if you can see that right here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move on. See, once again, I'm grabbing the area without the keys. So now I move on with the head joint. So here we go, head joint. Okay. Remember, it's a twist and push. So I'm going to twist and I'm going to push in. So twist and push, twist and push, twist and push. All right. Now, there is the embouchure hole right here, embouchure hole. Okay. Make sure the embouchure hole is lined up with the button on the middle joint. So the embouchure hole lines up. And at this end, the spine on the foot joint lines up with the middle of the keys. And that is how you assemble your flu like that. Okay. Now, if you need to take a break and you are coming back to practice, um, or if you need to flip through a book, please make sure you always put your flute down in your case or somewhere safe. Okay. Ne never, never, ever try to, you know, do something silly like stand it up on the floor or, um, you know, put it on a music stand because you'll forget. Okay. Accident's going to happen. Somebody's going to knock it over. It will fall. And will break so always try to put it somewhere safe down in a case um, you know hopefully not on your bed okay because you will forget it and then maybe you might sit on it or something okay all right now when you're done practicing every day okay this is where the um, cleaning rod comes in handy okay what we'll do is we'll take things apart so for example we will once again grab the area without the keys here we go. Okay, that's the uh, head joint. I'll put that down. There's the foot joint, and there's the middle joint. Now it's very important. Sometimes people get confused. Do you see? There's this extra little key that sticks out. Okay, and this extra key right there. Make sure that's facing the inside of the case. Make sure it is not outside like this because it won't fit very well and you won't be able to close your case and uh, sometimes I'll see people they'll say hey it won't fit they'll just press really hard but when you do that you will bend or you will break this little key right here so you don't want to do that you want to make sure that key is in the middle okay now this little cleaning rod is here to help you clean so what you would do is you would take a little little tiny piece of cloth Okay, and you thread it through. There's a little hole in the middle, if you can see. You thread that through. And then you can, with that little piece of cloth, you would go ahead and clean. And clean out all the uh, saliva and the water inside your instrument. Keep it nice and dry. Same thing, you would take that cloth, go back and forth. Right? You would do that as well. Go in and out, back and forth. Go to the other side, in and out, back and forth, okay? And then you would put your instrument away. That way it's nice and clean and ready to be played for the next time, okay? Now, with this case, I'll just close it. I will flip the latch down, and I'm going to take an extra second just to look at it to make sure it is locked, okay? Often what will happen is this. Some people will be in a hurry to do something else and they'll say, okay, there we go. There. I heard the click sound. I'm done. I'm done. 
and they don't notice the case is actually not closed. So when they leave and oh boy, do you see all of that falling out? That would hit the floor, things would break, okay? So you wanna make sure that does not happen, okay? So you wanna make sure it is completely closed, look at it, and now you are ready to do whatever else you're doing. Take a break, eat dinner, okay? All right, that is episode one on how to assemble, take care of your case for your flute. See you next time, bye.